sleepily aware of the music of morning as it stole into her ears. Cattle lowed, buckets clanked, goats bleated. Lindy Way yawned, then blinked her eyes. Next to her, on the smooth, cool floor, lay an African flute, just like the ones in the wayside store. Mama, she whispered, is this flute for me? Yes, Lindy Way, said her mother with a smile as she played with the baby. It is for you, child, who loves music. Up jumped Lindy Way. Mama, she cried, a flute is full of music. Just listen. Putting her lips to the float, she drew a mighty breath and blew. What a shattering noise. The dozing dogs started up and howled. The chickens squawked and the baby screamed with fright. Lindy Way peered into the dark tunnel of her flute. There was no sign of music there. What's wrong with this flute, Lindy Way wondered. I must find music for it. She couldn't find any music in her float, flute. So let's see what she does. So off she went past two old mamas weaving grass mats all the way to the river in search of music for her flute. There she goes. She's going out of the village to try and find music for her flute. Mom! called a crowned crane, preening himself in the morning sunlight. Crane, begged Lindy Way, share your trumpet call with me. This flute needs music. Ma'am, trumpeted the royal bird. The echo of his call flew into Lindy Way's flute. Thank you, she shouted, jumping from stone to stone as she crossed the river. A boy was herding goats on the other side. Talk, talky, talk, a hornbill called from a rock. Hornbill called Lindy Way. You see my flute? It is new and cannot yet sing like you. Share with me a talky talk. The hornbill obliged and into Lindy Way's flute flew the bright round sound. Thank you, hornbill, she cried. Tucky talk, tucky talk. Along the dairy, along the dusty path, a woman was hanging blankets on a bush to air. Unseen, a bird sang, do, 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 do. Quiet as a mouse, Lindy Way listened to the soft falling notes. Don't hide from me, Rainbird, she whispered. This flute needs a song from you. But the Rainbird would not open its beak. So Lindy Way waited and waited. At last, from among the leaves, the Rainbird appeared. Holding out her flute, Lindy Way quickly caught a doo doo doo. Thank you, shy Rainbird, she said softly. Then suddenly, Lindy Way shrieked. A hornet sting had burned her arm. Off she ran to the village medicine man who was quietly gathering herbs nearby. Look at my arm, sobbed Lindy Way, and my poor flute. I don't want the sound of sobs in it. The wise old man smiled, laying a cool herb leaf on her throbbing arm. But a flute should sometimes sob, he said. Ask that popo. Lindy Way turned and saw the hoopo, searching the ground for insects. Raising and lowering his crest, he called, hoop, hoop, 
the notes catching in his throat like the sound of quiet crying. Lindy Way wiped away her tears. Hoop, oh, please share your song with me. Hoop, hoop, he cried again. Lindy Way smiled. The mellow song was safely in her flute. On the edge of the village, Lindy Way stood aside for an old man riding his bicycle. A jar heavy with honey was balanced on his carrier. Following him was a paradise flycatcher. Wee, wee, woo, woo, woo. The tiny ripple of sound settled on the tip of Lindy Way's flute. Now the sun hung low and Lindy Way's shadow was long. Just before the sunset, a wood owl called. Hoo, 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 hoo. Lindy Way caught the sound in her flute. She peered into it and a smile spread so slowly over her face. The song of six birds filled it. Lindy Way hurried home, followed by the six birds. They all made music while she ran. Their joyous sounds carried through the village, calling everyone to join in the fun. Humming and swaying to the music, the two old mamas left their looms. Then the boy and his goats came capering along. The woman with the blankets whistled and skipped. Prancing and chanting came the medicine man, and then, Dancing like he used to long ago, came the old man with the bicycle. Lindy Way's mother, hearing all the jolly sounds, smiled proudly. Hear my child of music, she said. I have made my special stew so all can join in the feast. Now eating, now singing, now dancing. The happy party lasted long into the night. The air was filled with the music of Lindy Way's flute, flute and the song of the six birds. The end. So Lindy Way had a problem. Her flute didn't work when she first got it. So she had to figure out how she was going to solve that problem. And as she went for a walk trying to figure it out, she came upon all these birds and these birds helped fill her flute with music. And then her village had a party and had fun dancing and singing to the music. I hope you all enjoyed the book. Do you, does anybody have any questions? Oh, you're probably gonna get some questions. It might take a little minute to organize them, but I bet you're gonna have okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Ms. Gail, room five is ready if you are. I'm ready. All right, Eddie, I saw your hand first. What's your question for Miss Gale? He said he liked the book. Remember, the question begins with a question word, like what or how. Andrew. Nice big voice, buddy, so I can hear you. What do you like to do, Miss Gale? What do I like to do? I like to read books. I like to visit with my family and I like to play with my grandchildren. I have four grandchildren and I love to spend time with them. And one of their favorite things to do is to read books. So I enjoy reading. I hope you all enjoy reading too. Do you have a question for Ms. Gale? We like the book. We all like the book, Ms. Gale. Well, Good. Good question, honey. Thank you, Gail. Oh, absolutely. I enjoy, I, like I said, I love reading and I love little ones. They just, they make my heart sing. That's what fills my food, is being around little ones. Can you say thank you? Thank you. You're welcome. You. Bye, everybody have a good time. <laughs> Have a good day. Well, I said bye, friends. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> well, we hope that we will see.
Gail again, but it might not be tomorrow, but we hope that she'll come back again very soon. I would love to come back yeah. again. And, and don't forget kiddos, whenever you have a problem, there's always a way to figure it out. And if you can't figure it out, you ask one of your adult friends, one of your grown up friends, and they'll, they'll work to help you figure it out. There's always an answer to the problem. That's right. That's a good, that's a good lesson for room five kids. Remember not to get upset, but just to ask for help. That's, That's a right. really good lesson for all of us too. Yeah, yeah, even, a, even adults need help sometimes. Exactly. And I try to ask one of my adult friends what I do. <laughs> I know. Good. Well, everybody have a wonderful day today and be safe. Okay. Thank uh, you. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. you have a Bye. Nice Take care. Thanks for joining us again. Absolutely. Be well. See you again. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.